put the line through the eye on the fishing lure and pull the fishing line back six inches. Now before I start my twist, what I do here is instead of coming back parallel like this and doing my twist, I bring the tag line up and then hold it in place. Then when I bring it down to do my twist, it leaves me a nice loop there to finish the knot. So now we're going to wrap the tag line around the main line. This is bigger line, so I'm going to do five times. If you have smaller fishing line or braided fishing line, you're going to do seven plus. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to put the tag line through that loop there and you can see I have a nice loop the way I started that knot. So that tag line goes right through. Now if I pulled this tag line here at this point I would have a regular clinch knot. If I bring this tag line back through this loop, I'm going to make an improved clinch knot, which is several times stronger than the clinch knot. So now I'm going to bring the tag line back through that loop we just created. Now I'm going to wet the fishing line. Wetting the fishing line will help the knot cinch or close better and it will also help reduce friction when tying the knot. If this line gets too hot, it can weaken the line and you won't know it's weak until the line breaks when you're trying to fight a big fish. So now I'm going to pull this tag line up a little towards the right. Now I'm just snugging this knot up at this point. Now I'm going to pull the main line to finish the knot. There you got a good view of that improved clinch knot. Now finally we're going to cut our tag. But we never cut the tag right against the fishing knot. You always want to leave about a quarter inch because this fishing knot can still tighten just a little when you're fighting a fish. So you're going to cut that tag line right about there. Now if that fishing knot tightens up a little bit, you have extra tag line there to be pulled in. If you cut it right against the knot, the fishing knot could unravel. So let's tie the fishing knot one more time without any interruptions. Cut your tag. If this video was helpful or you enjoyed this in any way, I'd appreciate if you dropped a comment below and let me know. And check out the next Fishing Knot video. I think you'll enjoy it. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.